Hello fellow gardening lovers. We all have those chores that we're not looking forward to. Mine is this retaining wall. Since I moved in, this wall has been slowly moving more vertical because it wasn't installed properly. I should have taken it down before I installed the landscape, but I put my head in the sand. So now I'm going to have to fix it because it is getting to the point where I'm worried that it's going to eventually fall over. I should use the big blocks that I used in my other retaining wall to fix it, but there's a lot of reasons going on right now that I can't do that. So we're going to make the best out of this situation. I'm not going to explain how I do this in the video because I don't think this is a project everyone should tackle. It's a mess, it's heavy hard work, it takes a lot longer than you expect. So in the video you're going to see the wall come down, the wall go back up, and then the dogs wandering around supervising me. So let's get to it. Another problem that the wall was having, other than it was so vertical, was they didn't backfill it, so there were tons of spaces that wasps were getting into. My bug guy has been treating the wall to keep the wasp numbers down, and it's been working. I found 30 different wasps' nests in the wall, but only two queens that were still alive. So the bug guy was doing his job, but hopefully now with it backfilled, the drainage in it, and this fix, I won't have as many wasps.
All right, we got the wall in a much better position. Hopefully, it'll last for a few years and I can get a much better option in. Don't quite know what I want to do yet. What kind of retaining walls do y'all like other than these blocks? I think the next video is going to be planting some strawberries. Not 100% certain yet. It's a very busy time of year and there's all kinds of projects overlapping on top of each other. But if you watched the video this far, hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you enjoy getting to see the dogs. Please like and subscribe.